Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we will be talking about Aubameyang. Then we will be talking about Pedri. And then the last two topics, we will be talking about Semedo and Felipe Coutinho. So we do have a lot to discuss today. And today we are going to start with Aubameyang. So before I do get into the news of Aubameyang and what's been going on with this player, I do want to give you guys some context on what's been going on in over the past week to nine days with Aubameyang. So he did come off a 2-0 win against against Manchester City with Arsenal and in that 2-0 win Aubameyang did score those two goals and then we have also heard rumors over the past five months that Aubameyang to Barcelona does have a high chance of happening and Aubameyang has been known to be the second option for FC Barcelona back in January of 2020 Aubameyang was an option for Barcelona only because Dembele was going to miss the next eight to nine months but then later on we did get Martin Brethwaite but now that we are here in this summer Aubameyang is planned to come into FC Barcelona but for a different reason. This time Aubameyang is looked to be a replacement for Lautaro Martinez. But with Aubameyang's recent performance and knowing that he can do well under the new coach which is Arteta is going to come down to the player. Like does he want to go to FC Barcelona or does he want to stay at Arsenal? So according to James Oli, he has stated Aubameyang striker is keen on staying at Arsenal but the club's ability to meet his financial demands will be influenced by whether or not they qualify for European football next season. So coming from Arsenal's perspective, there is a 50-50% chance that Aubameyang could be staying or leaving the club. But then James Oli continues to say that Arteta does want answers on what's going to happen with Aubameyang this summer. Like every coach, right? Every coach wants to know what their team is going to look like as soon as possible before heading into the next season. Then he continues to say, Aubameyang, who is 31 years old, has entered the final 20 12 months of his existing deal and that ESPN have revealed earlier this month that he has requested a three-year deal worth up to 250,000 euros a week and to be honest 250,000 euros a week is a lot of money for a 31 year old player and right now Arsenal like every club right is very limited in transfer funds and again like every club Arsenal do want to bring revenue in this summer in order to be economically healthy again and right now Arsenal's plan is that whoever's contract has one year left they do want to sell that player and one of those players is Aubameyang his contract does end next year and so if Aubameyang does decide to not renew with Arsenal they do want to sell him in this summer because they do not want to let him go for free because obviously if you do let a player go on for free you do lose revenue and what does Arsenal want they want revenue because they want to be economically healthy again but here is where it gets very interesting right because it says here according to Mundo Deportivo Aubameyang doesn't want to renew his contract at Arsenal because he wants to wait for Barcelona in case the Catalan side cannot sign their number one striker priority Lautaro Martinez from Inter Milan this summer but I would take this with a grain of salt we don't know and it is very unclear if Aubameyang does not want to renew with Arsenal and so for the people and the audience out there that do face Favor, having Aubameyang come to FC Barcelona, three things do need to happen in order for this move to be completed. So number one, like we stated before, Aubameyang cannot renew his contract with Arsenal because then Arsenal will now be able to force to sell this player in this summer. Number two, the Lautaro Martinez operation does need to fail in order for Barcelona to have their attentions towards Aubameyang. Number three, Aubameyang needs to come into Barcelona for the right price and the right wages because 230000 a week is too much for a player who is 31 years old especially knowing that they are planning on using this player as a second option and I do want to bring in my opinion into this because for me I think that Aubameyang is going to stay and I think that the main reason why Aubameyang will stay at Arsenal is because Arteta is doing extremely well at that club right now I know that Arteta is building something special at Arsenal and I know that Aubameyang wants to play a big part in what Arteta does want to build at that club so so to me, Aubameyang will stay. But we will be following up on whatever happens between Aubameyang and FC Barcelona this summer. Now moving on to the next topic of the day. And we are going to be talking about Pedri. And also known as Pedro Gonzalez Lopez. And just for the quick backstory. Because I know that new subscribers do come into this channel every day. So if you guys don't know who Pedri is. He is a Spanish player who can play left wing, forward.
forward and as a attacking midfielder when needed. And Pedri right now is being looked at as one of the most brightest stars going to FC Barcelona in this summer. And the news for today is, is that Las Palmas has played their last game, meaning that Pedri will be going to FC Barcelona once the 2020-2021 season does begin. So most likely after the UCL is over, we will be seeing Pedri in a FC Barcelona shirt very very soon and right now Pedri is being looked at as one of the most untouchable players in FC Barcelona like yes is Pedri as untouchable as players like De Jong, Messi, Tercehan no he's not at that level yet but what we do know is that Barcelona will be denying any offer or any request coming towards Pedri because Barcelona do want to have this player in the first team now the big question that's going to come up to Barcelona next season when Pedri does arrive is that where's Pedri's position going to be at and that is a question that really does need to be asked because there's many young players that are going to be emerging next season. And also knowing that Bartomeu has stated multiple times that he does want to get this club ready for life after Lionel Messi. And now that he has the options and chances in order to make that happen with Pedri coming in, Elenia coming in, Ricky Puj emerging, and we also have Trincao, there is no better way to get this club ready but by using these players and implementing these players and really studying where where can we put these players at for next season? And for me, I think that Pedri needs to be playing the preseason and the start of La Liga to understand what he can do and if he can bring that as soon as possible. Now, I don't want to put any pressure on a player like Pedri, like he is only 17 years old, but seeing how all of these young players are emerging and emerging very quickly, like for example, Ansu Fati, we should not be afraid to try players like this into the first team. And so the sky is the limit for a player like Pedri and I hope that he does well. He is a very talented player. We have seen him play extremely well with Las Palmas. And let's be hopeful that he does bring that form into FC Barcelona next season. Now moving on to Nelson Semedo. And Javi Miguel has stated that Semedo will be staying at Barcelona this summer. And I think that it is clear that Inter Milan never favored Nelson Semedo because they do have Hakimi now, who is a brand new transfer for Inter Milan and will be playing as the right back next season. And I think that because of that, that that is why we are hearing that Semedo will be staying at Barcelona this summer. And this is also telling us that the only destination that Semedo could have gone to was Inter Milan. But unfortunately, Inter Milan does have that right back position covered. And now with Semedo having a 90% chance of staying at FC Barcelona this summer, what does that mean for the other players? And when I mean by other players, I mean Serginho Dest and Emerson and these are two right back players that have really been questioned if they're going to be coming to Barcelona next season and with Serginho Dest and Emerson potentially coming to FC Barcelona that was always going to depend if Barcelona were to be able to sell Nelson Semedo this summer but now that we are seeing Semedo stay with FC Barcelona the chances have decreased for those two players to come next season now keep in mind that Semedo still has two years left with FC Barcelona he does have until two 2022 so we can sell them in 2021 and I believe that that is where we are going I think that Semedo could be sold in the summer of 2021 when other clubs are in better condition to buy this player but with that being said the chances have decreased of either Dest or Emerson coming in this summer and I think that it is 99% certain that Nelson Semedo will be our right back for next season now moving on to the last topic of the day and we are going to be talking about Felipe Coutinho and a According to Fabrizio Romano, he has stated that Barcelona have offered Coutinho to multiple clubs, but nothing has been advanced yet. Barcelona do want to sell him for sure. So it is clear that Barcelona has already informed other clubs that Coutinho will be on the market in this summer transfer window. Now, obviously, there has been no back and forth negotiations going on right now because right now where Barcelona and Coutinho is at right now is that they do not see negotiations as the top priority priority within these next couple of days. The real priority right now is the UCL because Coutinho and Barcelona do have a UCL to play for that will be coming in about two weeks and there could also be a great chance that Coutinho could be facing FC Barcelona in three weeks time. And the last thing that they do want to do is negotiate deals which is very understandable and like in every other player the last thing you want to do is negotiate deals while you are playing a big game. But with the selling of Felipe Coutinho in this summer I really do hope that two things do come into play and number one is I hope that Coutinho is sold for the right 
price because I do not want to see Coutinho being sold for no less than 70 million. I understand that Coutinho has not been performing at the level where we can't say that he is worth more than 70 million, but it will be a huge financial loss for this club if he is sold for like 65 or 60 million euros. And also with the big selling of Felipe Coutinho that could potentially trigger and unlock the Lataro Martinez operation. So a lot is on the line with the selling of this player. And the second thing is that I really do hope that this is a lesson to be learned for President Bartomeu and the sporting directors of this club. Meaning I do not want to see this club ever buy players again just based off their names and really do a better job and have a better idea on how you are going to implement these players on the field because what we have seen with Felipe Coutinho two years ago is that they did not have an idea on where and how they are going to use this player. And in this summer of 2020, that is the last thing I do want to see. I don't want to bring in a player knowing that, okay, we might not actually have a position for that player on the field. I don't want to see that. Lessons do need to be learned. And I hope that this Coutinho transfer does teach a very valuable lesson. Because not only did the club, which is FC Barcelona, waste money because the players are underperforming, but they are also going to be put in a position where it's going to be very hard to sell this player to other clubs. And the last thing that you do want to be in is to be stuck with a player with high wages, knowing that you do want to sell that player. But that is where we're at with Felipe Coutinho at the moment. Barcelona have informed many clubs that Coutinho will be on the market and that the relationship between Barcelona and Coutinho is more distant than ever. So we will be following up on Coutinho like every player, right? On where he goes right now, the potential clubs that do want to bring him in could be Arsenal, Tottenham, Newcastle, and maybe even Manchester United. So that'll be it for today's Barcelona daily news. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and like I said before, feel free to DM me on Instagram so we can talk about football. I'm always open to the DMs on Instagram. And if you guys don't know where that link is at, it is in the description below. Just click on it and it takes you straight to Instagram. So again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.